In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an object and make it move towards another object or a target and also rotate towards it so it's always facing that target. This demonstration is in a 2D project, but this exact same concept and code will work fine for 3D as well. To start, I just created an empty 2D project and then I imported two sprites that I got for free from Kenny.nl. I'll provide a link below in the description, but if you've never been to Kenny, uh, please check it out anytime. It's tons of royalty-free game art assets and 3D models that you can use for any game you want. Let's start by dragging out the missile sprite into the hierarchy, and then I'm just going to rename it to missile. Now let's drag in the meteor and name him to be meteor as well. Just going to move that off to the side in the corner and scale it down a little. I'm just going to move this missile to the other corner and then on the game tab, I like mine on 16 by 9 for widescreen so I'm just going to set it to that. And let's change this background on the camera. I'm just going to set it to be black so it's more of a space scene. Now select our missile and let's just add a new script to it. I'm just going to call it missile. All right, now in our script, the first thing I'm going to want to do here is we need to make a game object that's going to be our target. So I'm going to use serialize field because we don't need to make this public. And I'm going to make it of type game object. And let's just call it meteor. If you're new and you're not familiar with serialize field, all that does is it's going to make a private variable display in the inspector. So that way we can drag and drop our meteor into the missile script. So let's go to Unity and do exactly that. In this field here, we just want to select meteor and click and drag it right in. And now we have a reference to our meteor. Now let's go back into our script for the missile. And this is where we're going to make it start moving towards the target. And for a lot of commonly used functions like this, where just making something move towards another target or another object, Unity has planned out so many features like this that they already have it here for us. So we don't even have to really do anything here. All we have to do is transform.position for the missile's position equals, and then we're going to do vector2 because we're working in 2D. But if you were working in 3D, just do vector3 and then dot move towards. I'm just going to bring up the Unity scripting reference document for this and the links below in the description if you want to bring up this page. So this is showing us what we actually need to use in this command. So we need a current vector, which is our position, and then the target position, so that's going to be the one of our meteor, and then this float max distance delta. All this is is the speed. So this is how fast it's going to move each frame. So in our code here, the first thing we need to put in is our position, so transform.position. Next, we need our target position, so that's just going to be meteor.transform.position. So now for the speed, I'm just going to make another serialized field and we're going to make it a private float variable called speed. And I'm just going to set this to 1.5 for now. And the reason I'm doing serialized field is so we can change this value in the inspector. So if it's moving too fast or too slow, we can make a change right in there without having to go back into this code. And now for our third argument for move towards, let's just put in speed and as usual times time dot delta time and that's just going to keep it steady across all computers based on your frame rate. If we run our game now we're going to see our rocket or missile is actually going to start moving towards this meteor and it's not just moving to the position it was at it's checking every frame so if we start moving this meteor around notice it's constantly moving towards where it is every frame. So this is the basics of making a simple enemy follow system or homing missile, anything like that, where you want it to constantly check for a target. Now, as you notice, our missile's moving towards the target, but it's not actually rotating to face it. It's always staying upright. So let's fix that now. So how we're going to do this is we're going to assign a value to transform.up. And what transform.up is, it's the up direction for our game object. So in 2D, if you're looking at your game object here, you're going to see the Y value is the up and down. That's going to be your up. So since we're in 2D and the object's facing upright, that's the direction we want to use 
kind of as our forward direction of where we want to look. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Unity to use the transform.up, which is this arrow, and then we're going to change that direction to the direction of the meteor. So you may not have seen transform.up before and you may just know it vector2.up or vector3.up. They work similar except if we look in the scene right now, if we have the, the axis set to world, notice our Y is always facing up. But when we had it set to local, so if we set it here back to local, the Y is going to be facing forward at the top of our missile. So that's what we want is the local, not the world position. When you use transform.up, it's giving us the local up, not the world up. And it's the same for any other direction. If you use transform.right, you're going to get the local right direction instead of the world. If that concept's still confusing to you though, what I would suggest is just searching YouTube for Unity World vs. Local Space. And there's a lot of great videos that actually show demonstrations of how they differ. Now the way you get a direction with vectors is you want to take your target position, so in this case the, the meteor.transform.position, and then subtract your position from it. So if we minus transform.position, this gives us the direction to the meteor. And what we're doing is assigning that to transform.up. So that's going to make the local green arrow, the y-axis, of our missile face the, the meteor. To see this a bit better visually, let's go back to Unity again and select our player. So now you can see the y-axis, which is transform.up, is currently facing this way. What our code is going to tell it to do is, what every frame, it takes this y-value and it points it at the meteor. So now let's run our game and make sure everything's working fine here. So we see our missiles moving towards the meteor. And if we select the meteor and start moving it around the scene, you can see our missile keeps moving towards and rotating towards it. So now we have a simple follow script. You could use this for enemies chasing your player, homing missiles. Possibilities are endless. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to use this for 3D, all you have to do is change vector2.move towards to be vector3.move towards and everything else should work out fine. So play around with that. I hope it helps a lot. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.